Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today we're looking at a couple of the 2023 quarters. All right, these are the Bessie Coleman quarters, all right, for the women's themed um, commemorative series. <clears throat> I got a picture here of the uh, release dates so you can see this. So Bessie Coleman was released January 3rd, so they're in circulation, as is the ooh, Edith Kana, Kanakaoli, Kanakoli, kan, Kanaka, <laughs> Naga, Naga, not going to work here anymore. A little office space uh, reference. Uh, I'm going to call her Cannoli. How about that? Edith Cannoli. No disrespect meant. I just can't pronounce anything. And that's March 27th. You can see the rest here. June 5th, August 14th, and October 23rd are going to be the next release dates. So the reason I'm showing these is because these are out in circulation and I've been looking for them. Just like last year's 2022. I tried to just get a couple of each just from circulation just to have. Just for fun. Why not? You guys know I am collecting these silver versions of these, the silver proofs. Um, but, you know, just in regular pocket change, just something fun to look for. And it just so happens that both of these have some errors on them. So here's a little zoom on this. You can see we have Washington Space. This is the new portrait since last year. And on the back here, um, this one has a scratch right there in between the L on Coleman. And it goes up on an angle to the S, the first S in Bessie. And the thing with this is that this particular scratch was done on the planchet, which was the blank round, the just, you know, metal with no design coin, um, because the scratch is actually under the lettering, which is interesting. So let me try to get you a close shot of that. All right, so it's kind of hard to show this, to keep everything steady, but you can see that scratch there. The scratch goes behind the S. So the S and the entire design of the coin was punched after the scratch happened. All right, that was not a scratch that happened in circulation. Now this other one has a die chip, which is uh, interesting. Uh, what's really cool and why I'm making this video is because I think it's fascinating when new coins come out, like especially these, these are commemorative coins that's in our regular circulation. Uh, you have the opportunity to be the first person to discover something new. Like, there's very well-known um, errors and problems with coins and stuff, but someone had to discover that and report it to some kind of coin news organization that spreads the, the news about different coin stuff, right, for coin collectors. So everyone, you and me and the person sitting next to you and the other people in your house and down the street and everything, you all have an equal opportunity to find this kind of stuff. It's like treasure hunting. So when you do see a new coin that was just released, I mean, this was released just a couple months ago for the first time ever, and obviously there's thousands of coin collectors looking at them, but, you know, not everyone will find stuff like this. You could be the first person to find it and report it and make it a known error. So when I found this, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm like, wow, I don't know if anyone knows about this, but I hopped on eBay and there's already one for sale. <laughs> so I don't know how well known it is, but there's a couple things that are well known. All right, so I zoom back in here. I do want to talk about a couple of the ones that are known so far. Let me use my uh, Leatherman here as a pointer of the blade. All right, so we see Bessie's face here. There's a known error where there's a line literally coming from her mouth all the way out to here. It looks like she's spitting. All right, there's another one that's known where there's a glob of metal in the front of the plane as well as maybe up here in the wing area. And then also the way down here, there's a little initials, and that has been doubled. I've seen that so far. Also a little bit of doubling in the letters, you know, from America and Quarter. However, this one has the die chip on the nose. So we come in, you look at Washington nose. Visually, you could see, you know, without a microscope or any kind of jeweler's loop or anything like that, you could see, oh, there's something on the coin. But you can see there's a little bit of a nub on the front of his nose. All right, so let me try to get you closer so we can take a better look at that. All right, so we're looking at the tip of his nose right here. Again, sorry, it's hard to keep my hands so still with this zoom. But there's literally a glob of metal. All right, so what happened was there was a chip in the die. And so when the die comes down, if you ever watch, you should watch a video on, you know, how coins are made. But... The die comes down and it presses this image into the coin and because there's a piece of missing metal fills that little missing piece and you get little globs or 
you know, pieces of metal that, you know, don't belong, but they're part of the design. So that's what we have in this case. We have Washington with a little pimple on his nose. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. What is this worth? Eh, well, you know, maybe 10 bucks, 15 bucks. It depends. It depends on how popular these things get. It depends on how many people have them, you know, the rarity. Um, I think that these days when they're making coins, even though the, the technology is better and stuff, I think they take less, less time for quality, to be honest. Like even something as simple as, you know, brand new coins coming out of the mint and they have a bunch of scratches and dings and stuff. They're just not taking care of them like they used to. So anyway, just wanted to share this with you. I thought it was kind of interesting. The, the most fun part of it is if you happen to be into collecting coins and stuff, it's, it's something people might not think of is to, hey, look at the brand new stuff that was just made. See if you can find some kind of an error and then you can report it. And then you know this is you're contributing to the, the community so other people can look for that same error. Um, it's fascinating. Can you make money on it? Um, <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to quit your job. One of these worth, the one with the scratch is worth uh, practically nothing. The one with the die chip on the nose, I mean, that could be worth 15 or 20 bucks to the right person. Um, like I said, if you look on eBay right now, all the ones with the errors, they're anywhere from like, I don't know, six or seven dollars, all the way up to maybe $25 ish. Uh, in general, you'll see them in the teens, you know, 13 bucks, 17 bucks, something like that. Just depends on the overall condition of the coin, how bad the actual, you know, error is. Um, but yeah, I mean, people collect stuff. That's just how it goes. And as far as coin collecting goes, there are people who collect these errors. I don't think there's as many people collect errors as there are other types of coins, uh, but they're out there. Like I said, there's money to be made. It's just, uh, it's so rare. Now, as far as these new quarters go and stuff, who knows what these will be in the future. 50 years from now, this particular coin with the pimple on the nose of, of Washington, it might be worth $10,000. But right now it's not. Right now it's brand new. Lots of people don't even know it exists. Um, no one really cares yet. When you look at error coins from the past, there are coins that have errors that are known errors that people look for and they want them because people know about them and they think they're cool. And they will pay hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of dollars for those error coins. These are not one of them. <laughs> but who knows You know who's gonna want these in the future. I just think it's fascinating. It has less to do with money and value and more to do with just something that's interesting. And when you're a coin collector, you find stuff like this interesting, at least some do. There's many different types of coin collectors, uh, many different ways you can obviously enjoy the hobby. But um, I like these errors. They're just kind of fun. It's just interesting to know, you know the process and how these coins are made and to find when they make mistakes. You would think a coin with a mistake would be worth less. You know, like art that has, you know, someone poked a hole in it on accident or something. Um, but it's quite the opposite because they're more rare. You will find millions and millions and millions of these quarters in circulation. But who knows how many of them have this die chip. So what happens is when they're making these coins, they discover these issues. They will look at the coins. And once they see there's a problem with the die, they throw the die out. They retire it forever. That's it. They put a new die in there and they continue, you know, with the process. So who knows how many there are? There can literally only be two. This one I have and the one that was on eBay. Or maybe there's 200, maybe there's 2,000. No one knows. It, how many of these coins were stamped and made before someone discovered this problem? No one knows. And that's kind of the fun of it. You really don't know the exact rarity. But as time goes on, a year passes, two years, five years, 10 years, you'll see how many of these things are for sale. You get a better idea of how many are out there. But anyway, that is all. Thanks for watching, guys. Just a little heads up. If you're into coin collecting and stuff, don't forget about the new stuff. Everyone focuses on those old coins, but don't forget about the brand new ones. You can discover a mistake and be the first person to ever do it. I think that's fascinating. Anyway, that's all. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. And let me know down in the comment section who is collecting these women's series of quarters. Like I said, it's totally free. You know, if you happen to use cash and get change back, or you can go to the bank, get a couple rolls of quarters. Unlike half dollars, every bank will have rolls of quarters. They may not have a case of quarters for you, just depends on where you're going, but you can get, you know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever, and just look through them and collect these. They're just kind of fun. You know, it's a completely free hobby. So anyway, that's all. Hopefully you guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.